So let's start with peeling the plantain. I am rubbing salt on my hand and this is to prevent my hand to be darkened after I have finished peeling it because you know it has these gummy substances that is black after you peeled it. So I'll go ahead and peel the two of them. After I've peeled them, I will take the knife and scrape off the surface of the plantain. And this is because you don't want them to continue to be coming since you will not wash it. So do the same process. Yeah, my hands are very clean. They are not black. Now I'm not going to use this side. I'm going to use this smaller part of it to scrape and make sure that they are very tiny in form. This is to help it when you are making the pizza dough, it will form immediately. After that, I'll go ahead and transfer them into a bowl. And in this bowl, I will be cracking in one egg. I'll add a pinch of salt. We're adding a pinch of it because later other things we are going to use contain salt. I'll also add black pepper. It's preferable. You can choose to add black pepper or not. Now, the next thing that will go in there is two tablespoons of all-purpose flour. I'll go ahead and mix them very, very thoroughly until they are well combined. Okay, while I'm mixing them together, I want to use this opportunity to tell you all thank you so much for supporting me. It has been so amazing. Thank you. If you are new here, you are highly welcome. If you're passing by and this is your first time here, please do me a favor and subscribe to this channel. Turn on your bell notification so that you will receive a notification anytime I upload a new video. So... Don't also forget to like. Please, don't forget to like the video. We have views, but the likes are very done. Please like the video. Thank you. Now it's well mixed together. I'll go ahead and spray the pan with oil. You can use sunflower oil, olive oil, but this uh, spray that I'm using is olive oil. After spraying it, the pan has to be hot. Then you go ahead and transfer the plantain that you have mixed together in the now with your stapler make sure you plaster them very well yes so that it will have that form of pizza while you are doing this make sure that your stapler or whatever you are using have oil I spread oil at the back of the stapler and continue pressing them. You have to make this form. Remember, you're making it into the pan because it's, it's not a flower dough. It's a plantain dough. So make it inside there. Look at how it looks. Very beautiful. I went ahead to turn them, cover it, and flip it to the other side. Now, there is still oil in the pan. Put the other side of it there and cover it. You can use tomato paste if you like, but I am using Kesha because the taste is so very delicious. You want your kids to enjoy it, so put something there that will make it tantalizing for them to enjoy. After you have finished adding the tomato, go ahead and add any queso of your cheese of your choice. <laughs> yeah, you can use mozzarella, but I am using queso. First of all, put the queso. I'm calling it queso again. It's cheese. Please. In English, it's peas. <laughs> cheese. <laughs> now you put the pepperoni and go ahead to add another cheese. Yes, this time around I got it. Add the cheese very well. You want this to come out very delicious. So cheese, you don't have to be stingy with it. Add more and more. 
this is it cover it on the it is melt or the cheese dissolve like this then you have your plantain pizza ready to enjoy make sure that you shake it as well to make sure that it is not sticking in the pan like this it is moving so go ahead and transfer it into the tray hmm it's out my people this tested delicious give it a try you will love it thank you so much and i will hope to see you in my next video enjoy your day bye